Hello everyone! Welcome to the Nivea Season 8 Guide. In today's guide we will be discussing the Champion Select part, which consists of runes and summoner spells. We will cover the laning phase, which consists of skill level up order, item building, farming, trading and roaming. And we will cover mid game and late game, which consists of the playstyle you need for that particular part of the game and the items a build, so let's get straight into it. Starting with Champion Select regarding runes. The most common two rune pages are these two. First one has Arcane Comet as its keystone, and the second one Summoner Spellbook. I personally am not sure which one is better, and the win rate seems to agree with me. But you can try them both out for yourself and see which one you prefer. From my personal experience, I seem to gravitate towards the Arcane Comet rune page, simply because uh, I like the damage of it and the other keystones I get to pick in the Sorcerer path. Although many Anivia players have great success with Summoner Spellbook and I have tried Summoner Spellbook and have copied the Frog and Play style, uh, which consists of taking Ghost as your keystone and uh, usually not changing it that much. He mostly takes Spellbook as do most mid laners simply because of the cooldown reduction you get on your Summoner spells. And you can also switch it to Teleport, which can be very useful. I believe Summoner Spellbook rune page helps Anivia more, but I encourage you not to blindly accept a single rune page as the best one and implement it into your gameplay, but to consciously analyze your games and obtain data about your games, which can help you evaluate which rune page fits better with your playstyle. Of course, it all comes down to what you prefer and how you prefer to play the game. The second part of Champion Select revolves around Summoner spells. I personally take Teleport in all of my games and find decent success with it. Froggen on the other hand, who is considered by many the best Anivia in the world, takes Ghost uh, recently. Well, if you feel like you can easily get kills in lane when you play Anivia, take Ignite. If you feel you need survivability, take a defensive rune. You just have to play games uh, with Anivia and take a rune you think fits your strengths the best. While you're figuring this out, you can take Teleport because you can't go wrong with Teleport. That wraps up Champion Select, now let's go into the laning phase. First thing of course are the starting items. There's not much variety you can go here, most people take typical mage starting items which are Doran's Ring and two potions. And I recommend you start like this every game. Once laning phase starts, first skill you want to level up is Q because first 3 minions, minions can get low health at the same time and since you can't auto attack 3 times uh, at once, Q comes in handy to swipe them all up in one hit. Another reason for taking Q first is because it can help you push out the wave because if you hit the 3 caster minions with both parts of your Q's damage, you can take their whole HP with 2 Q's which can be very helpful if you're trying to push fast since Anivia has a hard time when she's being pushed in. Second skill you want to level up is E, and E will be your skill you want to level up first, followed by your Q and W last. In lane you want to mainly focus on farming, because playing aggressive is pretty dangerous with Anivia. Because if you miss your Q, your whole damage is gone, it takes quite a bit of your mana, plus it is your only escape tool in the early few levels if it gets rough in lane because you have no dashes nor CC apart from your Q, so it's the best to let the enemy push you in or keep the wave somewhere close to your tower, which will help you because Anivia is bad at clearing waves before level 6 and you can set up ganks really well, so it all works out if you play passively. First item you want to buy will be Tear of the Goddess, because your mana pool is pretty much terrible and Archangel Staff is a core item you will build as your second item, so getting tier as fast as possible is extremely beneficial to you, so once you get 750 gold, you can recall and get your tier to start stacking it ASAP. Once you come back to lane, same old story, just wait for level 6 and wait for ganks. Once you get level 6, you can easily clear mid lane waves, which can be good for keeping up with the timer with your CS and denying the enemy mid lane CS because you'll constantly have to farm under tower. But while you're pushing with your ult, it's important to stay as close to your tower as possible because you can cast your ult from pretty decent rage, so just put it down when yours and enemy minions meet. Right under the enemy wave, you can place your R so you're safe from ganks and still push out the wave quickly. Of course, if 
you know where the enemy jungler is, you can try playing aggressive once you get some experience playing Anivia. You can also easily solo kill the blue buff with your ult, you can use your W to trap it in his pit so he can't damage you at all, which will of course help you a bit in lane. And of course the blue buff helps you a lot through your early game and laning phase, even later in the game, because you're pretty mana heavy and especially in the early game, clearing waves with your ult takes your mana pool down really quickly, so getting blue buff is gonna help you out a lot. After tier, you will want to start building Rod of Ages. It is a core item on Anivia and you want to start stacking it as soon as possible, so rush it. After that, you can get tier 2 boots. I recommend defensive boots, but you should try out getting source issues to see what you prefer. Next on the shopping list, you want to complete the Archangel Staff, especially now after the changes to AP items. Archangel Staff is an incredibly good item on Anivia, especially since it gives you 20% cooldown reduction, which Anivia really likes, so after a Rod of Ages, rush Archangel Staff. After Archangel Staff, you will just build situationally depending on the game. Leandris is a very common and popular option as your third item, it increases your damage a lot and helps you shred tanks. Rabadon's is also a very good option as your third item, Moral Nomicon is also extremely powerful, especially if the enemy team has a lot of life stealing or spell vamp champions or healing supports and stuff. And uh, Void Stuff is a great option as well, especially if the enemy team has a lot of tanks. Of course, build Zonia against heavy AD comps, and it's situational, you just build whatever the game requires you to. Come mid game and late game you will want to play these two phases of the game pretty similarly, play safe and keep your CS high because you are a monster at team fighting. You can easily try to get picks with your team, your wall has a pretty big range to cast it, so be sure to use it to get picks, as well as your ult has a pretty big range so you can easily W and slow people to catch them out and to help you hit your skill shots and you will definitely at least get a flash from the enemy players especially in lower elos where people don't really maybe understand Anivia or just don't position well you can easily abuse your W to get picks with your team especially if you're in the jungle this is a really good place for Anivia to fight in because it's a pretty crowded place and small space for the enemy team to move which makes it easy to get them all in your ultimate and to completely block off their escapes and certain paths with your W. In teamfights, just stay safe and away from heavy CC because they will cancel your ult and that is a big um, decrease in your damage in a teamfight, so be sure to try to keep it up as much as possible and avoid CC. Constantly QE people and try to get picks with your W. It's really easy to burst a tank which engages on you, just put an ultimate down and make him stay in it as long as possible using your W to manipulate where you want him to move and queuing him so he's stunned in your ult. The same applies for melting down carries, you can use your W to manipulate where you want him to move and just use your ult to slow them down to hit your Q easier and just QE them to burst them down. Regarding some tips and tricks, the best skill gap between average and great Anivia players is how they use crowd control abilities to make people move in certain paths to help you hit your Q or keep them in your ult longer. It is a pretty creative ability which you can use to great effect with some practice. In lane you can use your W to guide people towards your jungler by positioning it in at an angle so if they don't want to go towards your jungler they have to work backwards to your side of the map which can make them stay in the middle of the lane even longer which can make your jungler gank him a lot more easier, plus if he doesn't walk backwards it is a really clear and easy way to hit your Q because you will know where they will walk. Mastering your W will take some practice but it is a very powerful ability which with some experience will help you win a lot more games definitely. Of course using an ult to zone and slow people to hit your seal shot is also good you can also use your W to close paths, which are really detrimental to certain plays, for instance if your team is doing Baron and the enemy team is coming from uh, the blue side of the map, you can W the path 
towards blue buff which can stop the enemy team from coming to you in the first place and contesting your buff. It is also useful to mention that Anivia is amazing at taking objectives, whether it is taking Baron or Dragon or sieging towers because of her ability to melt on Baron and Dragon. It is also a really big AoE which can zone people off towers, especially combined with your W. It can be a very dangerous thing to do, especially if the enemy team you're facing is behind. If they walk a little bit towards you, you W them, you put down your ult, and it is a GG. And that wraps up the Anivia guide. I hope you enjoyed and found this informational and educational enough. If so, be sure to like since it helps the channel a lot, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. If you're looking to gain more experience and knowledge about Anivia, I highly recommend watching Frog and Stream since he plays Anivia often, and you can pick up some useful information there. I also uh, often stream on my Twitch, so be sure to follow me there, and uh, there you can uh, ask me real-time questions, which can probably help you out if you have some really specific questions about certain scenarios. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day or night. See you guys.